D-Lo 404 Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner, Trey X, and the whole block fam. So, um, you know, there's been a lot of uproar, a lot of backlash going on. You know, a lot of channels being criticized, a lot of uh, media publications taking a lot of heat um, because they put out the picture of uh, Errol Spence Jr., um, at, you know, when he was charged with the DUI. You know, um, we've already, you know, we all knew that uh, Errol Spence Jr. was getting some charges for that accident. That's not new news. Um, however, the uh, picture is. Um, as you see, I don't have that picture posted on my um, on my um, thumbnail for this video. Um, just because I, I just, I don't want to throw salt in wounds. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really feel like it's necessary. I think it's already been over circulated. So there's no point in me going on, on and uh, putting it on here as well. Um, if you want to see the picture and, it's, and uh, you haven't seen it, it's not hard to find. But um, what I will say about that is, you know, I, I do feel like um, there's, you know, a lot. When, when you go look at these videos and you see what's in the comment section, man, the guy, people out there making videos um, or leaving comments talking about, you know, um, you know, saying um, he changed his name to Two Face, and you know, all kind of old, just insensitive, silly ass shit. You know, I feel like there's no place for that. You know, the man could have lost his life. You know, whether or not you know what I'm saying he done something reckless that caused that. Um, to me, at this point, that that's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing is that the young man um, gets to recover. He's gone through a traumatic experience that he has to learn from. Um, but we can also learn a lot from that as well. Um, and what, one thing that I feel like a lot of people need to learn is that, you know, when people go through things, regardless of if, if you feel like it's of their own doing, the last thing you need to do is come out and attack that person. Especially if they are, they've already suffered as a result. You know, if they've already suffered for, um, you know, and been injured and suffered personal loss because of it, you know, their family suffering, you know, their fan base, you know, is going to be on, on heightened sensitivity because of what happened. And, you know, it's just so many reasons why you just don't do things like that, you know, but I will say the one good thing that came out of the, the, release and circulation of this mugshot is that for me personally it gave me a sense of relief that Errol Spence Jr. from a from a facial standpoint wasn't as bad off if, if, as it was rumored to be you know he had some scrapes on his face you know he supposedly um lost a tooth or two um you know but you know, and you can see that there's some things in that picture that's starting to heal. But the thing that gives me, um, you know, gives me a little bit of satisfaction in that is that, you know, Errol Spence isn't all disfigured, you know what I'm saying, facially. You know, like some people are trying to say in the comment section, you know, or like some of the rumors that were circulating. You know, so, um, and, and even with that, you can see that in the other picture that he, um, took with some, you know, or, or posted himself, I think it was on Twitter or something, or Instagram with some of his friends or some of his partners, however you want to say it, um, where he was giving like the thumbs up or whatever, you know, you see that um, he, he's not, you know, in terrible shape from a facial standpoint. Of course, we don't know what the rest of his body looks like, you know, um, you know, nor do, is it, is it really that big of a deal? Um, from, from what we're understanding, the guy's up, he's able to walk, you know, he's, um, on the men and and that's that's the good thing you know that he's able to recover if it takes him six months a year four years whatever it takes for him to get back to boxing that's not what's important what's important is for errol spence jr to heal be able to um be there for his family for his kids and, and just grow as a person you know because anytime somebody goes through something where they could have lost their life and they and they didn't that that's another day, another month, another year that they get to be here and every day get to work on being the better version of themselves than they were before. 
And that's all you can hope for for anybody. You know, it's all, that's all I hope for for myself. That's just what I strive for when I get up every day to try to be a better person than I was yesterday. So, um, you know, best wishes and blessings to Errol Spence Jr. You know, to those hating on him and those leaving all these nasty comments and those who are putting out the uh, picture just to try to sully his reputation or to throw salt in wounds and, and, and you know what I'm saying, to irritate his fan base and to, you know, upset his family or whatever malicious reasons, you know, um, shame on y'all. That's all I'm going to say on it. I'm not going to throw out any callous insults or anything like that, but shame, shame on y'all. I hope y'all find something better to do with your time, more productive than um, trying to smear somebody's name and, and make things worse than they already are. But that's all I got to say on it. This is D-Lo 404 Boxing. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.